Hey, this is Holly Lynn. This is going to be about manifestors, human design manifestors. And if you don't know about human design manifestors or you're curious what you are, you can go to Jovian, J-O-V-I-A-N dot Jovian archives, archives like historical archives, jovianarchives.com or just Google Jovian archives and human design. And you can look to see <clears throat> who the manifestors are in your life. So I was just meeting with a really dear friend and this friend has a lot of kids in their family like I do. Um, I have four kids and I, she was sharing with me about how her one child is really sensitive and sort of making her crazy. And I know, uh, her kids human design charts <laughs> and it got me thinking about my experiences with my own manifestor, Noel, which you might have seen on here before. If you follow me, the takeaway from that conversation was remembering the time when I just sort of discovered human design, but wasn't fully like practicing it or letting the principles kind of, um, run free in my parenting. And it was about when Noelle was 12 and 13, which of course is a very like <sighs> for many girls, there's a lot of things at play there. And it was like war in our house. There were yelling matches every night. And I remember we had one big, really, really big blow up. And I, I felt a re really specific way in my body. And it, I said, I refuse to live this way anymore. This is why I got a divorce because I don't want to feel like this inside my own body. And I've got to, I've got to fix this. I've got to straighten this out. And, um, so I released control of Noelle and I was really intentional about letting her be an individual among us. And she was the oldest, so it was kind of easier for me to do that without like having to explain it to my other kids. I now know that there's different rules for different kids in our family. My friend Kate told me that phrase and now that's a part of my vocabulary. It's not about fairness. It's about different rules for different kids. And so anyway, I released her and I was really intentional about allowing her to be a manifester and I should explain manifestors are the pharaohs <laughs> they're the ones at the top of the pyramid with the whip that's like the negative view of them they're wonderfully um individual people who love their independence and freedom and they're on their own trip they're about 10% of the population and, um, manifestors are like, they're not really needed any, they're not really needed anymore. They are kind of on their way out as we are evolving and we no longer need like manifestors to like rally the troops and build a bunch of shiz. So anyway, took me about a month of releasing Noelle and letting her do her own thing without me exerting a lot of influence or power over her. And God, it was like night and day, night and day. The relationship changed overnight. 
So now as I'm hearing this other mom who's got a younger manifester in her family talking, all these feelings are coming up again. And I was talking about how we, she and I, my friend and I, live in a society that is structured for two kids. Mom and dad and two kids. The bigger families have died out. There's not a lot of them anymore. And so, so much of our conditioning is about a small family living, small, you know, two kid family expectations. And it is just not the same. I grew up in a two kid family and I have four kids and holy cow, the experiences that I watch my kids go through with each other are so different from what my brother and I went through. So people don't understand. It's one of those things that you don't know unless you, like you don't know that you don't know. And then you go and like stay with a large family for like a week and you're like, holy shiz. So anyway, um, being a manifester, you are not designed to be homogenized by the group. And if you have a child in your family who's a manifester and you're trying to like usher and herd and shepherd that manifester along with the rest of the tribe of your family, it's your nothing good will come from that. It, there's nothing good. You're, you're beating your head on the wall and that wall is never going to change because manifestors are not here to be influenced by, by the group. They're here to like lead the group. They're the ones who maintain their independence and, and walk that very individual path. And for some that looks like selfishness. And maybe, maybe that's a word that you can say. Um, I don't frame it that way with my daughter unless I'm really mad and triggered and forgetting who she is and what her energy potential, you know, it is. And so When I think about manifestors in places like school, rigid school systems and structured corporate environment, if they're in the wrong position in those kind of systems, it's going to be ash in the mouth. It's going to be like bone crushingly terrible. And so we parent manifestors way different than we parent our generator kids and our projector kids and our reflector kids. They're not to be homogenized. They're, they're not here to take on saving, um, or sparing or, um, like, they're not necessarily here to be a part of the tribal community aspect of it. Not in the way that American kids are typically socialized. So give yourself a break if you are the parent of a manifester because it might not be you. It might just be the kid's energetic aura. Uh, and and release control of mandating that they come and join the family and help maintain the standards of the family it has to be their idea. It really, 
they're not here to sing kumbaya and hold hands in a circle and like do things because it's for the benefit of everyone. They're here for their individual path. And that doesn't necessarily mean that holding the family together is like, or playing a part of holding the family together is a part of their path. I'm not saying that manifestor kids shouldn't have chores and that they shouldn't be responsible. It's just different. But to like conglomerate them in with the rest of the kids is just going to end up like rot in your mouth. Okay. I will talk to you later. And shout out to all the manifestors who are in existence. They, um, them being themselves helps allow us to be brave enough to walk in our own self, in our own way as well. So manifestors, like every profile or like every type in human design, they play a role and their energy gives, can give us bravery and courage to, to walk and stand alone.